Hi, this is Aries Gaming. We have a very busy week ahead of us in Artery Gear. We have two new units released, and with that we also have a new side event to finish. We did get a small break last week though. The two units we have are Lobelia and Nod. We also have a bunch of new skins and a new chapter 9 for the story campaign. Clearing this will give us additional forging crystals to use. Let's check out the skins first, I will let this girls do a quick summary. Thank you girls for that quick summary. Let's take a closer look at those skins. We have nap time with the blade, Mika. I seriously use her because she is a good unit. The next one is Beach Wolf Hearing. A high tier unit, unfortunately I still don't have her. This two skins are definitely worth getting, if you can. Next is Melt into Azure, Nemophilia. Sailor Brute, Tony. And lastly Stepping the Wave, Chitos. Those are definitely nerve wracking skins, try to get them if you can as a support for the game and as a support for yourselves as well. We have new unique equipment for Teufel and Quinn, if you use those two units, they can definitely help you. Let's now check out the two new units. We have Nod, a Molten Assault type unit. She has her uses. But an average unit at best. She is definitely a pass unless you have lots of money and you like her design. But logically she is definitely a big pass. Although I bet some people's logic are already out of the window, because of those gorgeous skins. We have now the main event of this week's update, Lobelia. She is a blue tactical or support unit. If you are kind of new to the game she is definitely a high tier unit. If you are not new, you probably know how good she is. As she has been hyped so much by the community for weeks now. She looks good aesthetically but I think some of the other units in the game are more sexier than her. Let's check her skills out. Her basic attack Giga Jet Cannon, inflicts damage to a single enemy target. Advances her own action bar by 10%, when the target has a debuff. The damage is increased by 30%, and the effect of the action bar is doubled. A great skill, this skill synchronizes well with other debuffers and with her ultimate skill. That action bar gain is the main thing about this skill. That is a total of 30% action bar gain, when the skill is fully upgraded and the target has a debuff. That will turn the tide on your favor both in PvE and PvP scenarios. Her second skill, Ascalon Light. Inflicts damage to all enemy targets, prolongs the debuffs attached to the targets for one turn. Also reduces the target's action bar by 30%. For every debuff on the target, reduce an additional 10% of the target's action bar. This skill is great because of that AOE action bar reduction. This will make your team gain more turns, than the opposing team. This can also affect even bosses in PvE. A very excellent skill in my opinion. Her ultimate skill Sacred Chant, gives all targets slow, blind and attack down for 2 rounds. After that inflicts 116.6% damage to all targets. This will also ignore the target's hit status. This means that you can still apply debuffs even if you miss or gets deflected. This will be the core skill if you don't have any debuffer on your team. It synchronizes well with her basic attack and second skill, which relies heavily on the debuffs on your opponents. She is definitely a high tier unit, in PvE and PvP. She can control the action bar of the other team and can make you have more turns than them. Plus those slow, blind, and attack down will be an additional problem for your opponents. She can be used in almost all team compositions. 
The preferred gear set is a speed set and status accuracy set. Preferred substats to look for are speed and accuracy. Obviously she is a must get unit, but we are in a very awkward situation. Lobelia will be included in the regular recruitment in the future. While we have probably Madoka or Framearm collaboration up next, which are limited banners. Not to mention there are units on those collaborations that are strong like Lobelia, or probably even stronger. If you are a spender you can definitely go for Lobelia, and you won't regret it. For free to play, you might regret it if you go all out. You can probably try one or two pulls to see if you're lucky enough. Going all out is a bit risky, this could result in missing out the limited characters from the collaborations. But it is always your choice, everyone has different priorities. As long as you are having fun, then it is all good. On my personal free to play account, I can only full pity 2 units at the moment. My last pull was on Lila's banner where I had to full pity her. How much crystal do you have? Will you pull for Lobelia or pass? Let me know on the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.